Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I've got some more budget-friendly DIYs to share with you. Um, you could use these for Valentine's Day if you want, but they're not like in your face Valentine's Day because I don't really decorate for Valentine's. But um, they're also some great everyday farmhouse budget-friendly DIY home decor items. So I hope that you enjoy them. Let's get started. For this first DIY, I'm going to be using a wall decor sticker. I picked mine up at the Dollar General for $1, but Dollar Tree has had them, and you can also get them at like Walmart and other craft stores, different designs, sayings, patterns, whatever. And then I have this picture frame that I picked up, I believe, from the Dollar Tree, but I've had it for a long time, and it was the perfect size for this particular wall sticker, but you could use a sign from Dollar Tree and paint it. Um, you could use another picture frame, just whatever's going to fit your wall sticker. And then I wanted just a plain white background, so I just cut out some poster board to fit the frame. Um, I had a pack of like four pieces of poster board from Dollar Tree, but they also sell the sheets of it. And I'm just laying that sticker down and smoothing it out with this little scraper tool. I picked mine up from the Dollar Tree, but you could use an old credit card or something like that as well. And you're just going to get the air bubbles out. I know you can't really see it here, but there are some, and as you take those out, it looks more like it's one with the poster board. And then I just checked to make sure everything was fitting properly in the frame and I'm using a good old glue stick to glue the poster board onto the back of the frame. Now to add some more detail to our picture here, I picked up some, or I used, I already had it, some silver lining and white uh, Waverly chalk paint and I'm using a stencil brush, dabbing a lot of it off and just kind of stippling it on and layering the two colors until I have the look I wanted. You could use any colors. You could also use acrylic paint. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going over the edge of the sticker a little bit, just trying to blend it all in. And if I got any paint on like any of the letters, I was able to just wipe it off or scrape it off with my fingernail. Um, it was really easy to get off. So I just kind of kept going until I had the look that I wanted. And then I'm moving on to the frame. I tried the same process with the frame and it wasn't looking the way I wanted to. I could have kept going with different shades and got like a galvanized look, but that's not what I wanted. So I ended up just taking a paintbrush and using the white paint and doing a pretty like decent rough coat of white paint. Um, so I would just skip the original step altogether if I were to do this again. But go with whatever like look you want. You could do a solid coat of paint, but I did like a thick, like a thick dry brush, if that makes sense, you'll see. And then once that was all dry, I did make sure to cover all the edges. Then once it was dry, I went over it with a sanding block and removed some paint on any of like the edges or the textured parts of the frame. And this was definitely more along the lines of what I was going for than what I did in the beginning. Um, I really liked how this came out and it was super easy to do. Easy way to switch up a plain old Dollar Tree frame. And then we're gonna put it all together. Make sure you clean the glass before you put everything together. And this is how it came out and I absolutely love it. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna use it in my house yet. Maybe one of my shelves or maybe on a wall in my guest bedroom. I'm not sure, but I love it. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed that first DIY. I just wanted to say welcome if you are new and I hope that you consider subscribing if you have not yet done so already. I love sharing easy, budget-friendly DIYs with you here on this channel. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up because that really does help me out. Let's get into the next DIY. All right, so for this one, I'm using another sign from the Dollar Tree. They sell these all the time, different types. I've actually had this one for a while trying to work through some of my stash. And I'm just using my like putty scraper tool to scrape off this embellishment on top. It's just made out of cardboard. And it did give me a little bit of trouble, but I did the best I could and then I sanded it down before we went and painted it. Now this is just going to be the back of the piece, so it's okay if it's not perfect. But we're gonna go over it with some Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant. We're gonna paint all sides, the back, the edges, and the inside. And I did do a couple coats of this until I had the coverage that I wanted. Now I will say for this part, and I didn't share it with you, but um, this little piece that I was painting over that I had our time getting off, when the first coat dried, it was actually starting to curl up. So I was able to easily go in with the putty knife and completely peel it off. And then I just painted it again. So maybe trying to get it wet a little bit with a damp paper towel would be good. Um, just don't over wet it because this is just made of like MDF and you know, you don't want that to get all soggy, but 
that's just a little tip for you. Like I said, painting all of the sides and edges, and I did a couple coats of each, and then we, uh, or a couple coats on each side, and then I went in with some Mod Podge just to make sure, I don't know, I feel like it just helps keep things, the paint from like chipping off, especially on like this inexpensive material. So that's what I did. You don't necessarily have to, but I chose to. And now I'm taking this heart piece, which is like a metal wall decor piece from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And we're gonna cut off the little uh, jute hanger and we're gonna take our own twine and I'm going to hot glue this around the edge. I wanted to give it some dimension. I also wanted to cover up the holes. So I ended up going around four times, um, probably will depend on what you use. And uh, just a little bits at a time because hot glue tends to dry really quick once it hits metal because the metal is cold. So I just kind of did a little bit at a time and especially on the first round um, just because I was trying to make sure it got all the way to the edge. And I went around a total of four times. Once we had all of our twine on, I went in with a lighter. The purpose was to burn off some of the like fuzzies from the twine as well as any hot glue strings, but I ran into some struggles. This lighter was just about out of fluid, and so I dug in, found another one that was going strong for about 30 seconds, and then that one ran out as well. And I really wanted to finish this project, so I pulled out some matches. Definitely not the safest route to take, so use caution if you go that route. Um, needless to say, lighters are going to go on my list. Apparently, I need those. And so, um, but you don't necessarily have to do this step, but I do love the burnt look. It gives the twine and also just kind of cleans up um, any of the mess from that. And then we're just going to flip it over and I'm taking some of these little wooden cubes here from the Dollar Tree as well. They come in a pack of, I don't know, maybe 30. They come in a pretty decent sized pack. And we're going to hot glue a few of those around the back of this heart. And this will just kind of elevate it from our sign when we attach it. So now we're going to hot glue the other side of the blocks and center this inside of our little uh, sign here. I did think about putting something else on top of the heart, a word or something, but you know, it's nice to have some things that don't have words in it. This is kind of the item that could be used for Valentine's Day if you want, but it's really not Valentine-y in my opinion. I will be using it um, different times throughout the year and I love how this came out. Really cute little shelf or counter decor piece. So this next one isn't really a DIY, but I'm just gonna show you how I'm reusing another DIY. So I have this mason jar that has been painted with white chalk paint that I had some um, Christmas greenery in and some green twine just wrapped around it. So we're just gonna take all of that off. We're going to use this burlap ribbon that's got the lace on it as well from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna glue it. I'm trying my best to just glue it from ribbon to ribbon and not on the jar at all although some of it probably went through because it is burlap. Um, but this way I can easily take this off once again to change it up in the future. But if it peels off any of the paint, it's, it'll be easy to, to fix that as well. And I'm just putting in some of these pretty greenery and some frosted pine cones for a little bit more of a winter look, just bending the stems to get them to the height I need them. And nothing super fancy, but I just wanted to show you another way to kind of repurpose some of your DIYs that maybe you've already done or other things that you have, have you know, on hand that you wanna use for different times of the year. It's really easy to switch things up. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out, lets me know what you enjoy. It also lets YouTube know that you're enjoying. And if you haven't yet done so already, please consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button below. Sorry, I think I just shook the camera. And make sure that your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss out on my future budget-friendly DIY videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.